Hello everyone, Simon from Inception Designs, and I'm going to take you through step nine of building one of our auto cockers, and that's going to be installing the low pressure hose from the three way to the RAM and the LPR. Now the hose is going to come in a little package. And this is where we're going to need a pair of scissors or side cutters, something like that where we can uh, cut the hose with. Actually, I'm gonna tidy some of the things off of my workbench that aren't needed for this. Always best to have as clear a space as you can. Okay, so we're gonna take the hose and in the bag with the hose are six hose locks. And these go down over the hose at each of the barb fittings, um, keeping the hose in place and just tidying up the cut ends, making everything look perfect. So to start with, we're gonna put the rear hose onto the ram, push it down so it goes flush against the fitting. Hopefully you can see that the hose goes right down against the fitting. Okay, now we're gonna to need to take a look at how we're aligning this hose to go to the three-way, the first hole in the three-way. Now, it's always best to cut the hose a little bit long to start with, to put it into place and see how you like it before you push it on. Now, we've got plenty of hose so we can make them a little bit longer and then trim them down. I'm gonna to wanna to take about a one eighth of an inch off of where I first cut it. So about there, check it again. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put two hose locks on. One of them goes on, goes right down against the ram. The next one goes on and gives me probably half of an inch of clearance so I can grab the hose, push it onto that first barb location and bring the hose lock over, push it down over the fitting. And you see I end up with a very nice routing for that first hose. You wanna make sure there are never any kinks in your low pressure hose. It will affect your performance if there are. So next we're gonna take the end of the hose again and we're going to push it onto the barb fitting on the LPR. Push it on, make sure it goes all the way down. A little hard to do again, keep it on camera. So it's on the LPR fitting, pushed all the way down. Now this one, we're gonna make a nice U-shape piece of hose. So we want it to be a nice smooth curve. We want it to be just like that. So again, cut that, take a look, see how we like, like it when we put it next to where it's gonna be. It's just a slightly long again. So I'm gonna take off 16th of an inch. How do I like that? I think I like that pretty well. Okay, so again, we're gonna put two hose locks on. And the first one, we're gonna slide all the way down over the fitting on the LPR. And put the second one on. And we're gonna slide that down over the three-way, or slide the hose onto three-way, and then take our hose lock, slide that down. Okay. So there we go. Second piece of hose. Looks good. And now we're going to do the front. Now, with our frames, using a uh, slide frame, which is what these guns come with, and using our UFC three-way, which uses three O-rings, the rear hose goes from the rear of the ram to the rear of the three-way. The LPR always goes to the middle, and the front hose always goes to the front of the ram. So again, we're going to push our hose onto the front there, bring it around, and we're going to want a nice smooth S shape for this one. I think that's about there. So you can see you actually end up with enough uh, LPR pressure, uh, low pressure hose to probably do the, the pneumatics twice, but it's so that you can play around and, and get it all exactly right. So now that I'm going to put this hose on, I'm going to end up like that. I think I like that. So we'll put the hose locks on. First one all the way down against the fitting. 
Second one on, leave me enough space to get rid of, get hold of the hose. Push the hose over the barb, bring the hose lock round, and put it down into place. Now that, that hose might be just a, a little bit long. If it is a little bit long, you can push the hose lock off. Carefully pull your hose back off. I'm going to cut it about an eighth of an inch shorter. Put it back on again. Bring my hose lock round. And that's beautiful. I like that. So now we have our low pressure hose all installed. Okay, now we'll move to the next step.